Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a you versus them read. This is going to be for the sign of Pisces, and it is timeless. This is little Delilah, you probably met her already. She's our little spirit guide and mascot here on the channel. So she just lays here looking cute, sleeping, getting worshipped, living her best life. Alright guys, this is how this works. You, whoever you are, whether you're a Pisces or a cross watcher, you are the querent. Why? Because you're in here inquiring. So you're on the left side. Whoever you're inquiring about, they, them, they're on the right. However, we do not have tarot police, and we do stay in the flow. So if you, you know, energy is fluid. If you resonate more with the person on the right, go for it, okay? Mutual energy in the middle. So here we go. It is with an attitude of gratitude. I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Pisces. And by the way, Pisces, in case nobody told you today, Delilah and I love you. So here we go. Show me Pisces energy and what are they bringing to the table? What's Pisces energy and what are they bringing to the table, please? Here we go. My nose is itching. Oh. It's the first time doing all these reads. Okay, you got it. <laughs> You, you, you know what? You're feeling a little uh, misdirected, maybe lazy. You have a lack of motivation. You're not in any kind of rush to fix anything or work on anything or anything like that. Uh, you know, you why? Because you look like you want to have some fun. What do you bring to the table? The Knight of Wands energy. So you bring to the table, you know, just trying to live in the moment, enjoy your life, have some fun, take things as they come, not trying to make any kind of long-term plans, long-term investments, anything you got to work hard at, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we also have Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Doesn't have to be, though. Okay, this person on this side, whoever they or them are, uh, it could be a Virgo or somebody that is Virgo in their chart. They are in a time of uh, isolation or solitude, cutting themselves off right now. They're doing some soul searching, some reflection, some introspection, trying to find, you know, their inner guidance and go along with it. What are they bringing to the table? I mean, that's always a good energy to be in, even if it is a little lonely, because, you know, that's how you ascend, right? Take stock of yourself. Okay, that one fell, so hold on a second. Oh, now you guys have me bending. Seven of Cups in reverse. So, you know, it could be because, um, you know, all right. With the Seven of Cups in reverse, we are talking about um, maybe they're feeling overwhelmed by all the choices they have. Okay? They could have a lack of purpose. They're definitely confused and in need of clarity. There could be distractions. But, you know, maybe this, you know, they just don't have a, uh, any kind of direction that they want to go in, which is why they're probably doing this self-reflection right now. Show me the uh, mutual energy between these two. At the current moment. What's the mutual energy Energy at the current moment? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Okay. Well, you know, you're both persevering, hanging on. I mean, you're not letting go. You're not taking any action. You're just kind of like persevering through. You have the nine of wands. So, you know, that does talk about... Uh, yeah, just hanging in there, having some true grit in the situation, you know, persistence, persistence. That's a good, that's, yeah, thank you, ancestors. Okay, now, show me Pisces' future action and what they're bringing to the table. What's Pisces' future action? You do want to work together, okay? You do want to have some shared goals and interests with somebody and make it work. So you are willing to put in the effort to work with somebody, be cooperative, okay? So you, you are being, you do want to be cooperative, but you could be holding back. You know, even though you want to be cooperative and you have this kind of an energy about you, you could be holding back. You could be holding back your finances, obviously, material wealth, but your thoughts, your feelings, your affection, just hold them back. Not uh, as much as you may want to work with somebody, you're not going in for it. What are this uh, this person's energy and what are they bringing to the table? What is this person's energy and what are they bringing to the table? Yeah, let's see. This person's energy and what are they bringing to the table? Okay, well, look, they've got the Six of Swords here. So their energy right now is, you know, in the future is that they're, they're thinking that they're going to be moving on. They're ready for a departure. They've accepted their lessons. They want to put distance between this situation and, uh, yeah, some kind of transition. It's moving on, leaving the past behind, even if it breaks their heart, you know, if it's sorrowful. Maybe that's why you hold them back. 
what are they bringing to the table? They're thinking, you know, their energy is that it's over. They're moving on. They want to move on. Show me, show me, show me, show me. Sorry, Pisces. I mean, I don't, yeah, I'll take this one. Ah, uh, okay. So they put a lot of thought into this. They are putting a lot of thought into this. It's not just something that they're like, oh, I'm going to jump on the boat and move on. The King of Swords is somebody who's a very deep thinker. Gemini, this you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? The King of Swords is somebody who's definitely, um, you know, disciplined um, and intellectual. They, they're clear thinking, okay? They can be very passionate. So they very clearly may see that it's time to move on. You know, they, they put a lot of thought into this. Look at them looking over at, you know, moving away. Maybe they think after this introspection and... There's just no hope in a situation. What's the mutual energy here in the future? What's the mutual energy here in the future? What are the goals? What are the shared goals? Show me the shared goals, please and thank you. Let's go. Give me one card. Can I please just have one? One, one, one. That's all we want. Thank you. Um, six of Pentacles. Okay, so, you know, you both want stability in the situation. All right? Now, it doesn't necessarily mean with each other. You both... Um, with the Six of Pentacles, you know, could be trying to be very supportive, um, you know, and giving to each other in some kind of a way. Or maybe with this person, somebody else. Maybe that's why you're holding back. But, um, you know, the mutual energy shared between you is that you both want to support and, you know, be maybe generous to each other in some way or another. Show me what the most likely outcome is going to be here. You know, you are looking for some kind of uh, stability or prosperity. Maybe you, you, you're going to give gifts to each other or even be generous with each other in some way. Show me. What's the most likely energy? I mean, what's the most likely outcome? Sorry, guys. What's the most likely outcome here between these two? Okay, the most likely outcome is... Ah, you're both disgusted with the whole situation and weary. I mean, you know, you want to open up and be nice to each other, but maybe you just can't be. The, you know, the Four of Cups, this is my cup of weariness. I mean, my cup. It's not my cup, but it's my card of weariness, disgust, uh, you know, just contemplation, disconnection, boredom, discontent, indifference towards each other, some kind of apathy. So it doesn't really look like, you know, it's not satisfying either one of you, whatever the situation is, whether it's financial, romantic, whatever. You both do have hope for the future, though, with this star energy um, at the bottom of the deck. So there's Aquarius and um, really, I mean, other than Virgo. That's about it. Let's get some letters as far as signs that are really sticking out. There is everything on the board. You got pentacles. You got, you know, here we go. Here we go, guys. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Okay, so you have, as I'm getting sex right off the right off the top. Maybe you guys just want to have some kind of a sexual relationship. Um, okay. I'm getting nemesis. Hmm. That's very interesting. I'm getting pan, pan. Somebody's name could be pan. Pain. Spain. Spain. Some of you could be from Spain. Look at this. I know it's not spelled correctly right now, but here we go. Spain. You got an unusual number of O's as usual. So I'm hearing Soto, Soto, S-O-T-O, or Soy. I'm hearing Demi. I'm hearing Yoa, maybe that's somebody's last name. You got a bunch of eyes. R. This is an H. This is an N. I'm hearing sax, like saxophone. Maybe somebody plays the saxophone. Definitely Spanish. Definitely getting Spanish here. Uh, let's see what we have. L. I'm hearing Lara, Lara, kind of like Lara Croft in uh, whatever movie that is. I'm hearing Reese or Rhea, R E R H E A, Larson. Look at all these eyes and these O's. This is absolutely absurdity. Um, I'm hearing Lear, Learson. I'm hearing Clear. Clear water, Florida, isn't that? I'm hearing um, Rhode Island. G, you got Georgia, you got Go, you got Go Go, you got Go. 
Gainesville. I got Gainesville here. Mm -hmm. So those are your letters. I don't know. Take a, you know, leave them there for a minute again. Thank you so much for joining Delilah and I. This has been fun. Somebody could be a demon, by the way. Or Damien. Damon, I'm hearing. Damon or Damien? Yeah. Um, always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. And trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.